So this is a uh, another job that's been waiting for a few years and I've had that gate for at least a year. It was donated by the neighbour when she sold up. So I'm very grateful for that. So I'm putting the gate in without removing the actual chain link fence and this is the chicken pen. And I don't know if I was going to encounter any problems. So I didn't want to take the section of fence out before I knew the gate was working proper. So let's have a little close up. So first things first, you can see the gate is actually behind the chain link. And I'll give it a little push. There you go. It's a wheel from a trailer and it works both ways so once this piece of chain link fence is removed I should be able to where well, I've cut the slot out and reconcreted it should be able to push the gate in two directions so the idea is that it will butt up against that dry stone wall I built there so one day I'm going to have a few sheep and I'm going to sort of draw them into this area, which is where the compost toilet is, uh, with the gate open and force them back into the pen. I'm not sure I'm going to have too many sheep, but we'll just see what my resources are like at the time. So I've had to put in a new post, obviously, and um, a diagonal to strengthen it. So what I've done, before I cut the actual chain link, I've had to put in these tensions. So if I show you the other side, here we are. So these are the tensioners I've put onto the existing post here. Everything's found or bought um, and adapted to my own designs. As you can see, I found some of the brackets which were perfect for the hinge that was already on there. But just looking at those tensioners again, it's, they're actually on the wrong height here, and I've had to do that on the other side. There's the wire that tenses the chain link fence, and it should be a little bit higher. And I can't drop this because it's actually bolted into this plate here. Um, holes already in it. In fact I could if I wanted to make a hole, another hole into it, but I'm having just as much success um, loosening up the, uh, the wire and just raising it up a tier so that it will go along there. And along there. So I will do that for three times on this post and then I will cut the chain link. I've got to loosen this wire. It's just bound on at the moment. Now, I didn't build this fence and this, is, this works, this idea, but actually I would have woven the wire in through the, the actual chain link. So I have to take the wire off. There you are. 10,000 people or more climbed these rocks, all forsaken and lost, who gave their lives as a cloud draws nigh to the sun. The wind turned in their towels like boats broken from their mooring posts, tossing them around in their watery graves and marring their reflections in waves. So the final thing to do now Everything's in place, everything bolted up, proper. It's just to remove this section of the chain link. So I'm gonna cut it out. We'll see how we do it. And now they only see the light like a golden ball of fire that burns in the choppy waters in a hazy delight. It tingles as a bead of sweat would fathom these depths, rolling down their skins with uncompromising respect. Well, well. I'm going on to my right hand. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I should 
just try to weave it out. These are the soldiers seething in the mystical air, wondering at the demeanor of the almighty knight. And the guns keep firing missiles in their obscured vision like shooting stars who are sold out for life. One from the left, one from the right, go the exchanges to and fro. Who would give their left arm to take the place of one who is to fall? If they do not bleed through their skins, then their minds cinder instead, removing everything that had value like a bone gnawed to death. It cuts deep, tarnishing the soul of their ancestors, who may watch on like a conscience writhing under their blaring eyes. Could these men and women climb back down the same way they entered, with each step leaden by the guilt of lost pride filling the empty spaces? No, after the palpitating heart gave way to reckless venture and hopeful grace, that one may just live at the end of this horrendous day to hear a silent night. Their loved ones clinging strongly in the grubby clenching of sore hands, lost to culture and waning in the smoky veiled moon's endearing face. Well, it's a good thing that um, I didn't do too much damage there because I was taken off the wrong side, would you believe it? So I'm going to do now this side. So here we have it. I've taken off the middle bit of chain link, that was quite easy to do. Nothing shifted, nothing sprang. And now this is the first real time I'm gonna test it. So you have to imagine, I run my sheep in this way. Maybe I have to put uh, something here to stop me from going under. After I've driven them through this little cul-de-sac and then I close up behind me but you know just as a eventually wear a path there you know just as a, as a way in and out I'm, uh, I'm also aware I made a very good decision to go deep with the post it's only a piece of angle line but that's gone deep and I put a super amount of uh, concrete mitts in there so even though there's a bit of movement, I think that's super strong. And with that wheel, it shouldn't really be a problem at all. So that's it, folks.